Hi, and welcome to Chamber Chat via Zoom. I'm Danielle McFadden, President of the Greater Lowell Chamber of Commerce. I'm so excited to have one of our newest members here today. We have Rod Gregoire. He is the owner of Merrimack Valley Wi-Fi Pros. How are you, Rod? Good, Danielle. Thank you so much for having me on today. This is awesome. It's so nice to see you. And please tell us more about Merrimack Valley Wi-Fi Pros. Okay, so uh, we're an in-home technology company. And we come to your home and uh, help work out problems for you. We do uh, one of our big, big services is Wi-Fi service. If you're in your home and your Wi-Fi isn't isn't working great throughout your whole home, then you know we can fix that. We we understand all the technology and we can fix that. Uh, and then if if you're not really tech savvy and you want to save some money on your cable bill and you don't know how to do it, you don't know where to start, you don't know what streaming tv is we can help do that too we can help you with that and save you a lot of money on your cable bill that is incredible so i'm so curious to know if you started the company during the pandemic because i feel like that's the time when people are fighting for wi-fi looking at their bills saying, what the heck is going on i need to make sense of something in my life <laughs> <laughs> yes that is exactly when i started the business um i worked for a really long time in high tech i've been in high tech for she's 30 plus years. And, um, and I actually retired from my corporate job uh, in December. And I had, but that's where I came up with the idea for this for this business, I, I started working on it around May of last year, and I ended up filing and everything in August, and I've been working on it since. Wow. So the, my job there, I, I ran a I ran software development teams around the world. And, uh, and I'd be in zoom meetings, every day, all day, uh, talking with teams in US, uh, outside the US, everywhere. And, and I'm in these meetings and so many people, these are engineers, know all about technology. They keep freezing, you know, they're, they're, they're pausing and they fall off the <laughs> Wi-Fi. And I'm like, wow, these people need help with their Wi-Fi. And then I think, well, they don't really need that much help. The people who aren't engineers, who don't know this technology, who don't understand it all, those are the ones that really need help. And so I said, if the engineers can't do it, what do the normal people do? What do the everyday people do? And so I, I thought it would be a great way to start the business. And, and the cut the cord just sort of falls in naturally with that because um, you know once, you've, once you have great Wi-Fi, it opens up the door to, have, uh, to, to go away from cable and have streaming TV throughout your home. And so I thought the two were a nice, nice two, two services to put together. It's amazing. And I'm sure if you go into a home for one service, they end up using you for the other service as well. Cause like you said, they go hand in hand. Yes. And it goes both ways. Sometimes they call me just about, I, I need to save money on my cable bill and they don't know how to do it. And then, you know, and I go in and we talk and I, and we figure out what's the right thing to do. And then it's like, well, do you have great Wi-Fi throughout your home? And the answer is, well, it works really good in the living room where the router is, but it doesn't work great in the other rooms. And, and that's where I can really help them out. And there's been so many families that have been, there's been like spouses working from home and then the kids logged on remote and everybody's fighting for Wi-Fi. I was on a call once with somebody and he had to leave, it was a sales call and he actually had to leave to go have his kid shut his iPad off. Yes. <laughs> and he wanted to do a conference, an online conference. Yes, it, it was a it was an interesting meeting, but I'm like, I think you, if you're going to be selling an online conference, you probably should tell <laughs> us that your son has to shut his iPad off so this meeting can run smoothly. <laughs> yes, that's right. The uh, you know, it is that way. It is. I, it's the Wi-Fi wars, right? All the devices are fighting for this for the signal space. And and it's it's a problem. So, you know, oftentimes somebody gets the good Wi-Fi and somebody's relegated to the bad Wi-Fi. And it all, maybe it switches during the day, you know, but it, it works out that way. You know, you can't have four people in the living room all working on, on the Wi-Fi and talking on Zoom calls. Uh, it's a problem. It's a real problem. And so I really help with that. I love that. You help with family dynamics. Who would have thought that family, like something to come into play would be people fighting over Wi-Fi, but th <laughs> this is right. the world we are living in. Yep. yep. And, and I'm fascinated about the cutting the cord. So I cut the cord many years ago, but now like at least once a month, me and my husband will say we have 
memberships and subscriptions to so many different right. services now that we're not saving money at this point. Not saving money. And anymore. I've heard you talk about it on WCAP and you can actually sit down with people and say, okay, what are the channels you want? What are, what are the things you need so that you can guide them in the right direction so that they don't have that's right. a dozen apps available? Yes. And that's what that is. That does happen. But usually the way I do it is right. If you tell me what town you live in, what uh, how much you pay for your cable, uh, what you get for your cable, whether you DVR, whether you're a big DVR user or not, and what and most importantly, what are the I have to have these channels, mm -hmm. right? If you tell me all that information, then I I will say okay. In order to do all that. Here's the here is either the one or two, uh, you know, streaming services that that you can uh, that you should get to replace mm -hmm. cable, and this is what that's going to cost you a month. So you'll have internet only one cost, you'll have your streaming service cost, and you'll you'll know how much that is, and then it's it'll cost you some money to cut it over. How long is the payback time? And typically the payback time is two to four months for people to get payback on it, and then they're just saving money after that. But I, I, you know, I keep track of all the services. I know what's available. I can figure out what the right combo is for you. And then also, what's the right platform? Do I go with a Roku or a Fire TV or a, or a Apple TV? And which Roku do I buy? Well, you know, there's a lot of questions that, you know, they're not really hard questions, but it's really nice to have the answer for you without having to do all the research yourself. And that's Absolutely. really where I, where I help. That's amazing. I know. And now um, there's even smart TVs. So I bet you pretty soon people are going to be contacting you to say, okay, what's the best like smart TV that I can buy? <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, I look at that, you know, for me, if you have one TV in your home, a smart TV is great. If you've got three or four TVs and they're not all the same smart TV, then every time you go to a TV, it's like, okay, how do I go to, mm. uh, how do I go to sling on this TV? I got to go here here. You know, some people have a high tolerance for that and other people are like, oh, this is so frustrating. So I think it's always a good idea just to keep it the same. That's that's one of the big wins of cable. Everything is the same, right? No matter what TV you go to, everything's the same. And you can do something very similar to that uh, for, for TVs. Um, one way is you get all the same smart TV that works, but that's expensive. Possibly. Right. Or you get the, the right streaming platform and the right streaming platform. That also depends on what you want to do. That is such a great point. I never thought of it that way. Cause I'm sure with some clients, you go into their houses and you have to you teach them how to use it all. Absolutely. Right. And that might take a little bit of time as well. So that's another benefit to using you. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's different, right? DVR is different on those streaming platforms mm -hmm. and it is there's, it's not the same. It isn't cable TV, but you can save so much money that it's worth the change in how you do things. And it's not a huge change, but it is a change and you have to be comfortable with that. I don't think a lot of people, re well, I, I, maybe at this point, a lot of people do, but some people still don't realize that you can still get TV in real time. You can still get the news. You can still get the stations that you want, even though it's not cable. They think, oh, well, I don't have cable anymore. You still have access to the things that you had access to with cable. Right, that's right. So that's what we do, right? We replace the cable TV with live streaming TV. Mm -hmm. And and so a lot of people are like, well, what's live streaming TV? And I try to explain it this way. Think of, well, Netflix and Prime Video are like you're downloading a DVR and you're watching it. It's stored content. It's recorded, sometimes recorded decades ago, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's recorded content. Really, when you start watching a, a show on, on, uh, on Netflix, you're basically taking the DVD and you're able to watch it as it's being downloaded. For live TV, it's different. So when you're, if you're watching the Bruins on Nessun, as the game is being played, you know, the camera is recording the action and that, that information is immediately being sent over the internet and you can subscribe to that stream and watch it live as it's happening over the internet instead of over cable. And so um, the technology is all there to do that now. And it works really well, finally. And um, it's, a good time, it's a good time to switch over from cable TV to, to these streaming services. And there's a lot of them. 
I'm going to have you explain that. I'm going to have my kids watch this. <laughs> they don't understand the concept. They're so used to having everything at their fingertips. We were staying in a hotel and it was just cable and they were like, well, we want to watch this. Well, we want YouTube. I'm like, you can't. Right. And they can't, they, they can't grasp it. I'm like, yeah, the hard, the hard old days where you had just a few choices. That's now we right. have, you know, so many choices, but you're right. There are so many different streaming services to, to choose from. Yeah. And so just to give you an example, if you, if you, if you just want, I want the local, and there, there are customers like this. I just want the local channels mm -hmm. and then I'll watch everything else either on Netflix or prime video. You can get away for like five bucks a month, plus the cost of Netflix and prime video that you're paying for anyway. So yeah. five bucks a month to get all the local channels. That's a really good, um, that's a really good, that's a, that can be a huge saving. Now, if you say, well, I want to have, I want to have the news. I want to have uh, CNN or MSNBC or Fox News or whatever. Well, then you're maybe you're up into the forty dollar range if you start mm -hmm. doing that. And then as you add in a, some other things, you know, it can go up to sixty five and as high as uh, I think eighty five is is a uh, sort of is a sort of the high end on the streaming cost. But you know, so there's a lot of room in there, and it really does depend upon what you want to watch. Absolutely. And I think that that can change over time because I know like there may be something that you used to watch and then you just get used to watching something else if you don't have it anymore. So that's, that's right. But I need to tell myself because we have HBO Max, AT and T, YouTube yes. TV, Paramount Plus. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. but, but with those two, it's nice because you're not locked into anything either. So if there's a series you've been hearing about on Apple Plus that you yep. want to watch, then you you subscribe for a month, binge that's watch right. it, and then forget to cancel it like I do or cancel it <laughs> <laughs> that is right but for, H, for like HBO right uh my wife and I were big fans of uh Game of Thrones so so you know we subscribed to it for the last season you know for a few months and then we were done and yep. you know we canceled it it was easy to cancel it and uh and 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 if you don't like what you're the one streaming server you have you can just switch to another you cancel and move to another you don't have to wait two years. You're not locked into some crazy contract that, that won't, you know, cost you, that cost you a lot of money. And it, and it becomes more intuitive too, when you're looking at the different menus and guides with each service too. Mm -hmm. So, you know, at first you're so used to cable, but it doesn't take you very long before you get used to the kind of interface of whatever you're if working If you're with. used to Netflix or Prime Video, yeah. you, you can handle it. No problem. Well, it sounds like you are a dream come true for so many people. You must have been busy as soon as you opened. We started out, well, you know, like anything, the hard part is getting getting the information out there. So so as soon as a customer calls, boom, I, it's like an instant, yeah, okay, we need you. But getting them to call is the tricky part. It's, you know, marketing. And this the fun part about running a business is learning all the other stuff. You know, I was an engineer for forever. I wasn't a marketeer. So, so learning how to market my company is, has been a, you know, been fascinating and it's hard to, you know, it's, it's hard to do, yeah. hard to get it, hard to get it right. So I've been working on that. And, um, and so I'd say, you know, as soon as it, it started out a little bit slow, but it's picked up a tremendous amount as I've gotten a, better at the, the marketing part of it. Awesome. And I'm <laughs> sure referrals will start rolling in too, yes. just, you know, past yes. clients that referring yep. their friends and family. Is there anything else you want the viewers to know about Merrimack Valley Wi-Fi pros? Well, uh, just I want to touch on the Wi-Fi just for a little bit more. Awesome. Um, so for Wi-Fi, you know, a lot of people go and I run into so many customers like this. They they have Wi-Fi, their Wi-Fi stinks. They buy the they buy an extender and it kind of sort of works. They got a strong signal, but it's still not great, still doesn't seem to work great. Or they buy the pods from from the provider or whatever, right? And uh, and it just it still doesn't work great. Well, that's really it's not the right set of technology to make your Wi-Fi work great. And so they're they're easy one step one one uh, solution for everybody that those companies offer. But they aren't they aren't the right they aren't the right technology. So what we do is we actually go into your home. We'll do a Wi-Fi survey. We'll figure out what the problem is. Is it a signal problem? Are there channels overlapping? Do you have a noise problem? Not your kids, but electromagnetic noise. I have that. <laughs> right? Um, 
is it that you have an old router and that's that's causing the problem it's just too old it can't really handle more than a couple devices i mean i can with my survey that i use i have professional software for this i generate a heat map for all these different uh, areas in your home and every home is really different um and so i can figure out from that i can i can look at it and say okay i think this is what the problem is and this is what we should do to address it and so i can really help customers with their wi-fi in their home as well and i think it, it's more than just you know just go in and plug in a few devices and it all works it's never that simple every house is different every house has different problems um you know the, the size of your furniture matters you know your refrigerator whether you have if you have radiant floor heat in your house and you know not a lot of people do but a lot of my customers do it's a real problem and so i work through all those problems and help help customers solve that that is fascinating i know when i cut the cord i also wanted to own our modem versus rent it and so i got you know i had to get a new wireless router i got a new modem i did everything myself it was my goal at like before going back from maternity leave so i also had like three kids one of them being an infant i did it but yes. if i had known you <laughs> i would have called you right away that's right it, these it's not it's not rocket science you know, if you spend enough time, you can get it right. But it's hard to learn all this, learn all about networking and how wireless works and why doesn't, I just did what it said and it's still not working. What's the problem? Or whether you, if you, if you have a, a gateway and you, you know, you need to put it in a special mode to work properly with the router. These are all the new router. These are all things that I, you know, I understand and know all about. And most people just don't, they aren't networking people right and and i'm a computer network person 100 because i don't even know half of what you just said and like i said i i eventually did it but it wasn't easy and i got my first gray hair and <laughs> call rod that's all you have to do yes make it easy yes. on yourself <laughs> yes <laughs> well this was great thank you so much for joining me today thank you danielle i appreciate we the chance to talk with you and the and the members of the community Excellent. Well, we will put all of your contact information in this recording. That way people can get in touch with you. And how long does it, do you like talk to them on the phone and do a consultation for us to figure out what their needs are? How does the process work? Yeah. Best thing is just, it doesn't cost anything to call me and I'm not a high pressure sales guy. You call me, we'll talk about what your problems are and whether I can solve them, whether I think I can solve them. If you, and I, that information I, I mentioned about, you know, you know where you live and what your cable company is and all that stuff we just talk through that and i i'll tell you if i can save you money i'll tell you if i can't save you money too or you know if you're only going to save 40 bucks a month it's probably not a, it's probably not a great deal but if you're saving 100 bucks a month mm -hmm. it's something you really want to look at and most of the time that's what you're doing and so so you know you just call me give me the information and we'll talk through it and uh and then you can decide whether it's worth doing or not Excellent. And people do. It's easy to do. Easy to do. Yeah. And once you do it, you're going to feel like you've, you've accomplished something off your to-do list because people talk about cutting the cord all the time. So it's such an easy yes. way to do it. That's right. Well, thank you so much. It was so nice to see you. Hopefully we'll see you in person soon. We appreciate you joining the chamber. Okay. Thank you very much. The Coalition for a Better Acre invests in communities, developing stable neighborhoods, and building futures. Since day one, Enterprise Bank has been CBA's leading local funder because Enterprise understands commercial lending, how to streamline the process, and make it easy, serving as a trusted advisor and partner. Whatever your idea of success, Enterprise can help get you there. Enterprise Bank. Create real success. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender.